Patrice, police here say the arrest in California probably uncovered a nationwide child porn network. When detectives raided a house on Fruit Street, they found an astounding amount of child pornography on two computers with extra hard drives, extra memory sticks, at least a hundred CDs and some tapes. And they called their investigation just in its infancy, not even sure where it will take them. Just going through the CDs, not even going into the computers, uh, we have over 50,000 uh, pictures uh, depicting uh, child pornography. Bedford police arrested this man, Robert Cadle. They charged him with 58 counts of distributing child pornography and 80 more counts of possessing the stuff. You see some of it here, but it can't possibly show the incredible volume you can store on the CDs and hard drives. Police say Cadle faces a 10-year minimum for each count of distributing porn on the Internet, with a potential sentence totaling hundreds of years if convicted. Lieutenant Richard Spurlett calls it the biggest child porn case ever in New Bedford. Yes, yes, for that, that much, yes. And you say 50,000 images, but you've only scratched the surface. I mean, how many could there? You don't really know, do you? We don't know, because we haven't been into the computer yet. We haven't been into the hard drive of the computer yet. That's going to be sent out to the labs, and we're going to download all that stuff. We're just going on the CDs that we have. It's going to be a net that's just where it just keeps evolving. So it could be part of a much larger porn operation. Most definitely it could be, yes. Now, one question detectives cannot answer yet centers on how many of those children pictured here are actually photographed here in New Bedford, and if so, how can they find them? Live in the Mass Bureau, here in the Standard Times, Larry Estepin.